Hello and welcome back to Cub Correctional and of course Prison Architect. In the last episode we got all of ourselves in and we got a whole bunch of prisoners ready to move in. They are just doing their own thing, currently sleeping at the moment. In today's episode, I want to address a couple of things that I learnt from the comments of the last video, namely the cell grading situation. And I would also like to just go around our prison and make sure everything is looking nice and tidy. For instance, you can see in our staff room, we have a whole bunch of people resting, but we only have a wide sofa and a drink machine. I want to fix things like that. I also want to fix this common room. I feel like just a pool table in there is a little bit lacking. We also have a couple of things that we can address up here. For instance, we have four prisoners up for parole, but we do not currently have a parole room. Uh, other than that, we are looking pretty good, honestly. I did notice we have a little bit of a utilities issue right around here. We didn't connect this up with a small pipe, so we'll go ahead and fix that real quick. I also want to move this security camera just to there so we can throw in another laundry machine at the back there. Another thing that someone definitely suggested in the last episode, which I probably should have done myself, is hire some janitors. Uh, I reckon we'll go with five to start with and we'll grab ourselves two gardeners just to, you know, try and clean this place up a little bit. But moving into our cell situation and why people weren't being assigned to cells. Instead, they were just hanging out in the holding cell. That is because a lot of these prisoners aren't entitled to this higher quality of cell. So we're currently sitting at a grade 10 in all of our medium security cells. This guy that's assigned in here is only entitled to grade 1. So he is really being spoiled for the level of uh, things that he is up for, right? Like he's not behaving well. He, we've have found luxuries on him twice. So we should definitely consider removing some of the amenities from these cells uh, just to make it so that if we do reopen our holding cell, people will be assigned to cells and that will be good. So I'm thinking we sort of like strip some of these bottom cells out. And as we get closer to the top, we'll increase the cell grade. That is kind of annoying. And one of the problems with that is we currently don't have a storage room. We have exports, which we could probably for the moment just overwrite with storage just to get somewhere that they can store some stuff. Uh, and that will help out a little bit with some of the objects that we have lying around like these logs and stuff. But we can probably just go through manually anytime we see a log and sell those objects. We currently do not require them. If I can get this log here, perfect. And so yeah, that is what we're doing today. I would also like to get a little bit of flooring in now that we have a little bit more cash flow. So... Starting off, I think I'm going to jump into a little bit of a time lapse here as we rip out some of the things in these cells and make the grades a make a little bit more sense. So we'll be back in just a little bit. All right, so for medium security, we now have grade three, five, six, nine, and 10. And that just gives a little bit more disparity amongst our cell grades. So you can see our lowest grade cells really only have a bed, a bookshelf, and showering and toilet facilities. Uh, we had a death today. Uh, who died? You are dead. Well done, guards, for not dying in the process. I am reasonably happy about that. The only problem is we don't currently have a morgue or anything that we can transport that dead body to. So that is really not fantastic. What happened here? Uh, can we see a prisoner log? Ian Smith murdered Scott Martin. Okay. So uh, I don't know who that is. Is that this person? Attack staff, serious injury, attacked prisoner. Smith is down here. 
prisoner log. We have, oh my goodness, uh, murdered Scott. He then attacked a prisoner, misconduct, serious injury, misconduct, murder, and then misconduct, found drugs. So that's not fantastic. Uh, thankfully, our guards were able to deal with it on their own and we didn't have to worry about that too much. But that is something that we're going to have to keep an eye on. Uh, but yeah, like I said, our lowest grade cells just have a bed and a bookshelf. And then they get a little punching bag. And then as we go up, uh, they get... Oh, they also have a sink and a mirror in here as well in the grade 5 cells. And then as we go up, they get TVs. And then we add back in windows up here. And that is how we are doing things. I'm going to basically go along this whole thing as well and do a very similar thing. So we'll jump into another quick little time lapse as I fix up these cells as well. Now moving from right to left, we have grades two, four, six, and seven for our maximum security. And you can see they have sorted themselves out reasonably nicely with the grade cell that they currently have available. This guy has just been found with some something, found drugs and intoxication. So that is not found fantastic. If we jump into our intelligence, we should be able to see where some stuff happened. So we have booze that has come in through a prisoner that made its way through our checkpoint, which isn't fantastic, but you know, we found it anyway. So that's the benefit of having the dogs go through. Uh, that is pretty good. It looks like we do have some issues with contraband, but they really aren't that much. Most of them are being smuggled in through the front. Uh, some of the stuff is being thrown over our walls, which I was a little bit worried about. I thought we might be okay just because we have so much room between these things. If we jump into planning real quick and we say plan a wall, this is 14 between these two walls and the same with these fences, right? Like this is 14 here. I don't really understand how they're managing to throw things in. That's 11. This one is even that's 12. So. I mean, from there to there is like four and seven. So maybe you could get some stuff over that wall. I really didn't expect to need another fence around our facility. But at some point in the not too distant future, I hope uh, we might potentially have to install a floating fence around the outside of our entire prison. I'm not 100% sure. If you guys have any suggestions on how I should deal with that, that would be much appreciated. Uh, but yeah, I'm not 100% sure what I should be doing about that. Uh, so yeah, please do let me know in the comments how we can fix that issue. But with all of our cells set up now, I'm thinking we could potentially go ahead and reinstate our holding cell. Uh, and we'll just keep an eye on it and see how it works. But I think that should be good. We are now currently at capacity with 71 of 71 prisoners. We have 17 medium security and 54 maximum security. Of course, we do still have more for room for more. We just need to go ahead and build their cells at some point. In terms of solitary, we're doing okay. Uh, in terms of feeding our prisoners, I believe we are fine. So we should be all good there. If we go have a look at our dangers, uh, realistically... The only thing we're really missing is spirituality. Potentially we could use some more clothing, but everyone else seems to be pretty happy with what we've got going on here. So that is fantastic news. I'm just noticing that I never did connect this CCTV. So we'll go ahead and connect that up, make sure it's working, go ahead and lock its position where we like it. And I'm gonna jump into another bit of a time-lapse here. Still busy check our power. Looks like we're doing fine. I'm going to jump into another bit of a time lapse as I build out both the common room for the prisoners as well as our staff room and make sure those are up 
and running and serving everyone quite nicely. So we'll be back in just a little bit. I am also just going to sell all of these things that I, I um, dismantled just because we really don't have that much storage available to us. So apologies for that. I know we could reuse them in these other cell blocks, but we sort of need the room. So short of designating another area as storage, that is how I'm going to solve that problem for right now. All right, so the staff room is now complete. Everyone seems a little bit happier with that. Uh, just having a look at our guards, I did make a huge mistake in the last episode thinking I needed a whole ton of guards when I really don't. Currently, we only have two people stationed, one patrolling, five doing jobs, and two resting, with 40 doing absolutely nothing. So I think we should probably go ahead, jump into our staff here, and say anyone who's exhausted can be fired because, I don't know, seems reasonable and then we'll get rid of anyone who's tired as well just sorry go home go home we really don't need that many guards so we'll go ahead and grab a couple more out of their way and that way we have currently 40 total guards 33 regulars 25 still available i feel like that's a decent amount 40 guards for 71 prisoners, and that prisoner number is going to go up as well. So I'll leave it there and see how it goes. That should be absolutely fine. That raises our daily cash flow quite a lot as well. Currently making $10,000 a day, which is very, very nice to see. Thousand of that is coming from power. Some of it's coming from days without incident. Most of it is coming from our prisoner grants though, and prisoner grant bonuses. So that is absolutely fantastic. But we'll jump back in with the time lapses and get our actual prisoner common room up and running. And that should be absolutely no problem at all. So we'll be back in a little bit. I also realize this is actually not a common room. It is a planned common room. So let's actually make that a common room and then we'll be able to see our room quality. Currently, it's only at a four out of 10. That's not fantastic, but honestly, it's not too bad. Most of the other stuff is quite large. We could throw a radio in here and maybe call it a day. Maybe grab a sofa and a phone booth and that might just do us. So let's grab a common room. We can possibly fit a chess table in it doesn't super make a ton of sense for it to be there but that'll be fine then we can throw in a sofa sort of i don't know in there maybe a teacher can sit there in our now weird little world uh, and we can throw in a phone booth right next to that as well that should raise that up quite a, a bit uh, I believe everything but the phone booth has been built, so this should go up to a 7 out of 10, which seems pretty reasonable to me. Yeah, there we go with a 7 out of 10. We do want to make sure that we go ahead and connect this phone up to our phone tap system, though, just to make sure that we can listen into any calls and make sure we're on top of everything. In terms of danger levels, everything is still looking absolutely fantastic. Clothing is struggling a little bit. That might just be because we don't have enough janitors to deal with it so let's go ahead and hire another three janitors and make sure that in our prison labor we do have people working in here we can go ahead and increase that up to six people i think that will be more than enough and i'm considering putting in a cleaning room as well i just don't know where i want to put it to be honest with you uh there isn't a super good space for that to fit right now I could potentially make the laundry a little bit smaller and throw it in the back, but for now we're going to leave it as is. The next room that I want to address a little bit is the infirmary. Uh, and namely, I want to sort of split this up into a morgue as well. So we have a little bit of a morgue at the back of the infirmary. And that just requires a slab. So if we just go ahead and grab ourselves some more slabs that'll give us some room for dead people basically uh, so that we don't have to worry about that in the future they can go ahead and build that up and we have 
that being dealt with. Uh, one thing I am noticing is I don't actually think I put sprinklers in my canteen or my kitchen either. So that's definitely something we want to consider. Grab ourselves some fire sprinklers and we'll just throw these like right next to the lights. That'll be fine. And we can do the same thing in the kitchen. Make sure nothing catches on fire because that would be bad. Uh, so as soon as they've built that out, I'll go ahead and extend some small pipes to each of these and each of these. This can probably just run straight into there. This can run down. And then these ones can just run across to the one that's already existing there. And it'll just give us a little bit extra protection in the case of emergency. Uh, everything is running smoothly, honestly. $10,000 a day. Everything's looking great. I think this is a day. Yeah, perfect. We have 105000 in the bank. We could probably go ahead and see if there's any grants we could currently do. We have tool cleanup which might be good. Remove the supply of stolen tools and stolen weapons. Uh, I don't actually know how you're meant to do this. That might just be through a shakedown. Uh, let's give that a go. Shake down the entire prison. And I wonder if that is how this works. I'm not sure. I've never actually run the tool cleanup grant before, but we'll give it a crack. And then another easy one to get done is the inmate nutrition research. This just requires us to serve a single, a low quality, a low variety meal for two days, and then serve three high variety, high quality meals for, or high quantity meals for two days. So we can absolutely do that. And it looks like that was indeed the way we did that tool thing. Uh, so fantastic. We also had another death. Who died and where? This guy. What happened? Uh, if we go to the prison log, they overdosed. So that's not fantastic. Uh, probably a good idea to do that shakedown anyway. Uh, but let's get this other grant sorted. So I believe that is in policy, which we have not actually unlocked yet. Uh, we kind of have to do that before we do anything else. So we'll go ahead and grab micromanagement it is required by a warden and costs us $1,000 as that completes. We'll do a little bit of a time lapse as this gets going. Actually, you know what? Let's not. Let's instead throw in some more medical beds just to fill out this room a little bit. Seems like we're having a few deaths, so I don't really mind having some extra beds in there. Everything else seems to be working just fine. Uh, it looks like our kitchen is keeping up with some of our prison workers, so that's fantastic. Um, yeah, everything is looking great. I think I'm going to go into another quick little time lapse here as I get some flooring down and then we'll deal with the nutrition research and then I think we'll finish it out by decorating up this yard just a little bit. So I'll jump into a quick little time lapse as we get some flooring down and we'll be right back. I'm just going to pause the time lapse here for a brief second as we have finished micromanagement. We can now jump into policy. No, that's not even where that lives. Why can we not unlock policy? Is policy another one that I haven't researched yet? I really thought that I'd researched most. Oh, there it is. <laughs> and there it is. Uh, I don't actually know. I think it is under policy. So we'll jump back into the time lapse as they finish out this floor. And then we'll be back with inmate nutrition research. Okay, prison policy is officially complete. So now we can jump to policy and say everything is currently as recommended. That is absolutely fine. I don't want my max sec doing prison labor. And obviously I don't want the super max to do that either. So we'll leave that out. Uh, they can... No, they can't work. Right, because... Yeah, no, we're good. That's fine. And then in terms of meal quality, if we go ahead and say serve a single low quality, low variety meal, uh, and that's only once a day. So we jump into our regime and we say, you guys, instead of having a meal time in the morning, 
I'll let this finish for now because they're already eating. I'll let this finish and then as soon as we get to our free time here, we'll change that over to free time for the moment. And then once we've done that first one, we can go ahead and change out the second one. So that'll be fine. We'll jump back into a time lapse as they finish out all of this flooring and we'll be back once that's done. I believe that is all of our flooring in for the majority of our prison. We're going for these nice hexagon tiles in the kitchen and canteen. This nice, like, actually, no, I hate that. I really thought this iron floor was going to look different than that. We're definitely changing that up. Uh, but we have nice walking paths around the area now. The only places that don't have flooring are the all the cells, and I haven't decided what I want to use for them yet. Potentially, it will just be the concrete tiles, but we'll have to see. Uh, I do just have a quick little issue over here. This cell says that it's not enclosed, and I honestly could not tell you why that is the case. We go ahead and remove that and redesignate it. it. Still says it's not enclosed. Unless there's a tunnel, let me go into intelligence and say, how do I see tunnels? Not sure. <laughs> uh, I don't understand why that would be the case. This is definitely enclosed with walls all the way around. And this door is connected in the right place. So I'm not sure why this is not being considered enclosed. That doesn't make any sense to me. If we lock this shut... That's definitely enclosed, right? That makes no sense. Maybe it's a bug. Maybe it'll fix if we reload the game. Or potentially there's a tunnel that I don't know actually how to look at. Uh, if we can... Can we just do like a tunnel search in custom search area? In here? I don't know what this is searching. It's searching the entire thing. All right. Let's do a full search of this cell block and see if we can find anything. Specifically in this cell. Nothing there. We have had another death though. This guy, what happened? He overdosed as well. So we might need to get a drug rehabilitation program up and running soon. But if anyone can tell me why this is not being considered enclosed, I would love to know. Uh, can we like move this door and just like replace it? Potentially? Potentially that'll fix things. We didn't find any tunnels in here, so I'm not sure what that's about. If we undesignate, leave it for a minute, and then redesignate, still doesn't work. Interesting. Let me know in the comments if you know what that is all about, but let's go ahead and finish out this flooring. So I hate this iron. It's really not what I wanted. Uh, I'm thinking Potentially these could be wooden floors like we've done down here. This looks quite nice and sort of fits the island theme. Uh, not super secure, but they're in the middle of the prison, so it really shouldn't be too much of an issue. Otherwise, we could also use this mosaic floor. Let's have a look and see what that looks like. I think for the cell blocks themselves, though, I am just going to go ahead and use concrete tiles. They're cheap, they don't look too bad, and... Yeah, we'll go ahead and get that done. So they're going to go all the way to there. Uh, and then we should probably, since we're here, go ahead and do both of these cell blocks as well. Even though we haven't built walls and we're technically wasting a little bit of resources by doing basically tiling under the walls for no apparent reason. But I'll let them complete that and then we will crack on with the yard. Make that look all nice, get its cell grade up or its room quality up because it's currently only a grade three. Canteen is currently a grade four, but that is just because we are doing the inmate nutrition research at the moment. So we'll fix that up in a little bit, but we'll be right back once they've completed this flooring. Just a quick little pause. We have officially completed the first part of the inmate nutrition research. So we're gonna go ahead and reschedule these eat times here. And we'll add a third eat time for lunch. Uh, that can go, yeah, there, I guess. That'll be free time there now. 
And they can eat, I don't know when these guys are going to eat, I guess here. And they can sleep for a little bit longer. That'll be fine, right? They just sleep to their uh, lock up there. They can have an hour of yard time and then continue on. That should be fine. We just need to make sure that we also go into our prison policy down to our food and these both need to be set to high to complete this other part of the research and that will be absolutely fine uh also looking at these mosaic tiles i don't love them but i don't hate them enough to change them for right now as they're cracking on with that though we do have 17 prisoners up for parole so i think i would like to make some parole rooms uh, and that is going to be as simple as basically planning this out as a parole room. And this just needs a visitor table. I'm not 100% sure if you can do multiple paroles at the same time. Uh, if you can, I kind of would like to. Because uh, this room doesn't really fit things nicely though. We go like there and there and there and there. Potentially we can do four parole hearings at once. I'm not sure if that's how that works. I have a feeling it's not, but we'll keep an eye on how this room operates and then we'll go from there. So all we need to do now is make sure that we go into our programs and I believe parole hearings are here. So we'll add one of those. Uh, all rooms, staff only. Ah, that makes sense. We need to go into our logistics, no, deployment and say this is now a shared room because our prisoners are allowed in there. Let me just double check that everything else there is fine. It should be. I'm not 100% sure if our prisoners are doing visitation or not though. Uh, let's keep an eye on that. Six families currently waiting to visit at 8 a.m. So we'll come back to that in just a little bit. But I would like to make sure that this is working. Uh, and I also want to lock that camera in a different position, like around there. That should be good. So that's fine. I think these floors are almost complete, uh, if not completely finished. So we're going to wait for daytime and then I'm going to do a little bit of work on this yard here. Uh, although, although in saying that, we could potentially throw in some lights preemptively just into this yard to make sure that we can see things a little bit clearer. I think this doesn't actually have a middle, so that's annoying. I don't think that's the middle. Uh, let me grab my planning tool out and double check. This is 21, so if we do, what, 10 on each side? That's 10. That's 10. Oh, it does have a middle. That's perfect. Uh, light. Throw a light in there, and I believe this is square, but in saying that, I'm not actually sure. That is 20, so this doesn't have a middle. We do like 7. And seven, that'll look all right. I'm happy enough with that. So we'll go in and grab some more lights. Light there, there. Centered there is a tree. So we're going to have to dismantle that tree. And probably dismantle that tree as well. Grab our objects, more lights, and make sure these line up. Right around there should be good. And then we'll throw our final light in there and clear these guideline plans. That'll be fine. Uh, I, I really don't like the trees in here. I'm thinking we might just remove all of them. I feel like it would be a hazard in a yard, in the prison yard anyway. So let's go ahead and just dismantle all of those. Dismantle all of the trees, please. I don't want you here. <laughs> so we'll let them crack on with that. And I'm thinking we do like a running track around the outside. Uh, potentially even on the outside of the lights will be fine. And then we build a little bit of a yard in the middle there. Uh, it is currently 7 p.m. Do we have any visitors in here? Or does this need to be shared? I'm not sure and I missed it. We do have some planning in here that we can absolutely remove at this point though. So we'll go ahead and do that. And I am going to go ahead and get rid of all of these tree stumps as well. Nope. Why remember how we do that? I think it's with dump. Yeah, dumping does that. So we'll dump all of those and that should get rid of them. Uh, we don't want to dump that light though. Uh, don't dump that light. Thank you. And that'll be fine. So 
I'm going to jump into another quick little time lapse as we get this yard all set up. I'm going to pause the game so we don't lose too much light and we'll be back in a little bit. Uh, just as they're doing that, I remember that I never actually rescheduled the parole hearings. So we'll go ahead and throw those back in and we'll keep an eye on this as it builds out. And we'll keep an eye on the parole room as we're watching this just to make sure that they actually work the way that I want them to. Uh, because I feel like they probably don't. If they don't, we'll shrink this room down and maybe put a cleaning room in the back of it. And that'll be absolutely fine. So we'll wait for them to finish building out this yard, which is almost complete. Keep an eye on our parole and then at that point we'll probably go and check on our visitation as well. Make sure that is actually working. So I believe our yard is finished. Uh, this parole hearing is working the way that I thought it would, which is not the way that I hoped it would, where only one prisoner is being interviewed at a time. So we'll go ahead and fix that up. Uh, the other thing we need to make sure we do is go ahead and jump into our utilities and our wiring come down to our phone tap make sure we connect this to all of the phones that we currently have in our yard and they are all connected now so that is absolutely perfect the next thing i want to watch for just a second here is our visitation uh, so all of our visitation things went away but no one is in this room actually being visited let me go ahead and assign a guard in here just to make sure that we can actually see everything that's going on and there aren't families like hiding in the back or something. Yeah, no, I think this does actually need to be shared, but I believe we will be able to bring prisoners out through this way. If not, we might have to reimagine how this works entirely, but I'm not sure. So let's keep an eye on it and make sure that it does actually work. Uh, 16 prisoners up for parole, that's fine. We finished a grant, which is the prisoner grant. And since we're making so much money, I think I will actually leave the policy to be high quantity and high variety. It's gonna cost us a decent chunk of money. The only thing that I am gonna change is remove that middle eat time. So we'll send these guys back to eat there. This will now be free time. That will be lock up after eating. I believe and then sleep can go there lock up there extend that yard time out and that will be absolutely fine i think that's fine uh well we're gonna go with that anyway and see how that works we also have our yard complete which is full of all of the amenities if we go and check our room quality is currently a nine out of ten the only thing we're missing is a tire apparatus and i don't know if we can fit one of these in anywhere but i wouldn't mind trying we could potentially throw one in on either side here that'll work done and that'll be a 10 out of 10 yard our prisoners will definitely be enjoying that so i'm gonna let this run overnight again and then i'm gonna check on visitation again just to make sure that our prisoners can actually get through to here because if they can't we might just have to move this jail door down to here and have this entire section be, you know, prisoner only. And then this little section can, like, you know, our prisoners can actually walk through there. And that'll be fine. And then we can get visitors in still. That'll be absolutely A-OK. -okay. But I'm going to let this run just in case this does actually work the way that I want it to. And yeah, we'll be back in a little bit once we're at morning time. All right, it is morning. Visitors are set to arrive at 8 a.m., which is any second now. Uh, and we have six families waiting to visit. Let's just keep an eye on whether or not that goes up or down with people coming in and out of here. In theory, families should come in and it should tell us that like families are on site. Uh, if it doesn't do that, then we will do that thing where we move that door down and get this working the way that it should and since i am not seeing any families coming through 
I believe that that is an issue. So we'll go ahead and jump into walls and doors. Grab ourselves a large jail door. I kind of want it to slide into this wall. We'll also grab ourselves utility wiring door servo for right there. And that will be good. I also would like to change the flooring in here now. Just so that it matches with everything else that's going on. So our reception is now concrete. That'll be fine. I also might make the visitation concrete just so that it all matches up a little bit and that'll be absolutely a-okay. Then we just need to go into deployment, make this a shared zone, which it did automatically. And we can make this stuff only. And that should be absolutely a-okay. We should now see families coming in to visit people. We have 18 visitors on site in nine groups. And because we have this checkpoint, smuggling contraband in from visitation shouldn't be as much of an issue. I'm sure we'll still get some contraband coming in and out, but that basically just is what it is. I would like to go ahead and set a time block on number one. Uh, we're going to unassign that guard and this time block is going to be from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. And we're going to have two guards in here on that time block. I believe that's how that works. Are they on that time block? Yes, yes they are. Perfect. So we'll have two guards in there during visitation hours, but otherwise that will be unmanned and I believe that's fine. I don't think prisoners will wander in here unless they have visitors. The next thing I want to address is our parole room. So we're going to dismantle the rest of these visitor tables. We will also end up moving this one. I don't know if I can move it just yet because, you know, it's uh, not ready yet, but that's fine. We can move it to there. That's probably where I want it anyway. And then we can go ahead and grab ourselves a reclaimed wood wall, throw that down there, grab ourselves a door and that can go right there. And then this back part of the room will be unassigned from parole and will be reassigned to be a cleaning cupboard. And we can actually have some people working in there. So if we go to prison labor, uh, as soon as it registers that there's a wall there, which will be in a little bit here, as soon as they get this door in, I think is when that happens. We should be fine. So logistics, prison labor, and as soon as they build that door, there we go. We get six prisoners working in there. The only thing we need, of course, is electricity, which we can just run up from there and that'll be fine. We no longer have a camera in the parole room, but honestly, I don't think that matters that much. I don't think that matters that much at all. We'll wait for them to build these utilities out. The camera comes back online. We'll lock that in position and we have a little bit more of a cleaning crew with some prisoners staffing that. All right, we are looking good. Uh, do we have any things that we can do here? We can find 10 illegal narcotics. We can absolutely do that. Uh, we've already finished it. Done. Easy. Not a problem whatsoever. License plates are something that I want to do, but not just yet. Education is something that I think we will end up setting up in the next episode. Uh, reoffending rate, average reoffending rate to 30%. I wonder what ours currently is. Average reoffending rate is currently 41%. So that's not too bad. We're not that far off that. Uh, reformed Prisoners Initiative is uh, achieve 100 reformed prisoners. Uh, if we have a look at our released prisoners, we have one. So that's going to take a minute. <laughs> that's going to take a minute indeed. Uh, restaurant services and bakery skills aren't, aren't going to do that just yet. Basic farming is something I would like to do. And criminally insane, I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. But... That's all well and good. I think we will leave this episode here. We've accomplished quite a lot. Got the prison looking quite a lot nicer. In the next episode, I think I would like to focus on some classrooms, start getting some education programs running, as well as building out our minimum security and our other medium security cell blocks. And basically just getting this prison up and running and at a point where... We're basically self-sustaining. At the moment, we're already making eight and a half thousand dollars a day, which is absolutely fantastic. And if we really wanted to, I believe somewhere in here, valuation, we can currently sell our prison for $390,000 if we wanted to. 
that's not something that I'm going to do in this series. I think we just want to sort of build this one out as much as we can. Get it running nice and smoothly. But yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for things we should do in this series, please do leave them down in the comments below. If you're enjoying it, make sure to subscribe, leave a like and comment for the sake of engagement. Make sure to join the Discord if that's something you're interested in. And yeah, until next time, happy building, happy rioting. Bye, guys. <laughs>